Thank you. It's my pleasure to be here tonight. I'd like to thank the League with Women Voters for this even sponsoring this event, and thank you for inviting me. I'm Greg Hastings, the incumbent running for re-election for the representative of 46th District. <coughs> I was elected in a special election 17 months ago when my predecessor resigned. I believe I've been successful stepping in and completing the term while meeting the needs of the constituents of the 41st District. I'll be brief with a few issues I've worked on. First, Senator Venables, Representative Williams, and I authored a bill to protect your land rights, call it eminent domain. This legislation passed unanimously in both houses, only to be vetoed by our governor. I'm continuing to work with Senator Venables to tweak our bill and present it again as soon as the General Assembly reconvenes in January. Another, I'm concerned for an energy power plant. Rest assured, we will continue to generate power from this plant for many years to come. However, I believe we need to strengthen our efforts to monitor air quality and redesign the water intake, which, which I initiated with House Concurrent Resolution 68 and 70. Also, when Governor Minner and Division Public Health refused to disclose cancer cluster information impacting the Millsburg area, I supported efforts to get it released to the public. In fact, I successfully amended Senate Bill 235 so this information would be displayed on easy to read maps so local residents could tell if there was a problem where they live, work, or go to school. <clears throat> the bill originally called for the information to be released on census by census tract. Another, in June, I introduced three bills that would have positive impact on manufactured housing residents. These three bills are currently on the web for review with intentions of working these bills when we begin session in January. Also issued a district-wide survey at my own expense to get people's opinion on a variety of public policy issues. While the results aren't scientific, just the fact that folks took time to answer the survey demonstrates a sense of how strongly they feel about the issues surveyed. I've hosted a senior expo and continue to hold meet and greets in private homes so people have a chance to talk to me about whatever is on their minds. <clears throat> I and my staff handle a lot of constituent service issues. You don't get any fanfare or headlines for this kind of work, but I believe this is one of the ways you really earn your keep as state representative, helping people cope with the challenges they face. I'm also a phone call away and easily reach. You can contact me by 934-7976 and I have a web, refgreghastings.com. And thanks again for this opportunity to share some of my history as your state rep. Well, Mr. Wilson and Mr. Wyatt.